In this video, we're gonna compare the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to the non-abrasive scrub pad when using them on car leather seats. Now, let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you guys are here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer and wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast and wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So for those of you who have been following the Wilson Auto Detailing channel for any sort of length of time, you know that there's two main ways that I approach leather seats. One of them is a non-abrasive or non-scratch scrub pad with a degreaser or an all-purpose cleaner. And the other is the same but with Mr. Clean magic erasers because both of these tools do great jobs on leather seats but different situations call for different things and they take different amounts of time different efforts and so what I want to do is show you guys the driver leather seat that I'm working on on this Audi a3 right now and show you guys the time difference the effort difference and kind of the different results that you get with each tool so here is the driver seat that I'm working on right now and you guys can tell that there is some standard like cracking there's some fading there's some discoloration which is just going to come as you sit on the leather seat and you drive your car. It's normal wear and tear. There's nothing abnormal about it. When you don't maintain the car on a regular basis, that kind of stuff is going to happen. But I just want to pan around so you guys can see. It's not a super dirty seat, but there's certainly some dirt. There's certainly some dirtier panels, and I wanted to pick the driver's side because the driver's side always tends to be dirtier. So let's go ahead and get into the test. So though this is not the best angle in the world, it does give you you guys a view of this panel and this panel so what I'm going to do is just test the non abrasive scrub pad on this panel and the magic eraser on this panel and for this video I'm using a dilution ratio of 10 to 1 for Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner so why am I using all-purpose cleaner rather than super clean or a degreaser in this case because I want to let the tool do as much of the work as possible rather than the cleaner so I picked a lighter cleaner like Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1 so that the tool gets as much work in rather than the solution. So I am going to spray the Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner onto the scrub pad. I never spray the cleaner on the leather. Bad things can happen when you do that. So as a general rule, I spray it on the applicator. And I'm not going to speed this up. I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys while I do this. For those of you who freak out about the non-abrasive scrub pad on the leather, thinking it's going to damage something, the truth is, is that it's not going to damage anything. Leather is coated in sort of a clear coated plastic per se. Um, this non-abrasive scrub pad can be used used to hurt things but of course if you let common sense you know guide you you're not going to hurt anything so once again it is a non abrasive scrub pad I'm putting about medium pressure into this I'm not putting all my weight into it and I'm just letting the tool do the work I'm trying to get in the creases and a non abrasive scrub pad as a rule takes a little bit more time than a magic eraser but as another rule it can be considered a little bit safer for leather than the magic eraser so that's about all I'm gonna do then I'm simply going to take my green microfiber towel, mop it up, and check the results. All right, so you guys can see that it certainly worked. There's certainly a little bit of a contrast between this panel and this panel now because this one's dirty, this one's clean. Um, however, there is certainly still some dirt in kind of the crevices of the leather, and I don't mean the creases, I mean literally like the design of the leather, the sort of make of the leather. So now what I'm gonna do is just take my magic eraser and talk you guys through doing this panel. Like I said before, I spray it on the applicator, I don't spray it on the leather, and with a magic eraser, if I were to scrub like I did with the non-abrasive scrub pad, I would actually hurt this leather and I would pull the leather off. So what I'm gonna do is just do single kind of passes like this, kind of like you do when you wash the paint in order to avoid swirls. Just single passes like this, and I'll scrub a little bit in the crevices like this, and maybe a little bit on the dirty areas like this, all right? But once again, a magic eraser uh, can kind of be compared to using a very high grit sandpaper in some cases. It's not the same exact comparison so it's not super fair to say that always but I am very cautious when I use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on leather though it can be an amazing tool it can also be a little rough and when you are using a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on leather that has been worn at a very high degree it might not be a very good idea simply because it's very easy to wear that leather off with a Magic Eraser if it's already worn. All right so Josh is steaming in the back seat so it's a little loud but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the results. Once again, we only did this panel and this panel. And so, you guys can 
can see that there certainly is a difference between this one and this one. This panel's definitely lighter. This panel's definitely darker. Now, I definitely expected that at some degree because once again, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is a more aggressive tool when it comes to leather seats. Did it take any of the leather off? No. Did it damage anything? No. But it definitely just took off all of that grease, grime, grunge that builds up over the years, body oils, dirt, things like that. And so, in this test, I would say the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser definitely came out on top. Once again, we used the Meguiar's APC to make a light cleaner to give as much advantage to the tool as we possibly could. And so the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser certainly cleaned better. Once again, I caution you guys, learn how to use the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser well before you actually apply it to the leather, because if it's used incorrectly, it certainly can damage things. But once again, it took much less energy, much less time, and better results. And of course, in the detailing world, that's what we're looking for. The most results, most efficiency, in the least amount of time with the least amount of effort. So of course, we have to go back and do the rest of these leather seats, but it certainly yielded great results right here. Now, for those of you who buy Mr. Clean Magic Erasers from Kroger or Walmart, you're getting ripped off because Mr. Clean Magic Erasers are just something called melamine foam, and I buy melamine foam in bulk off of Amazon, and I get about 20 to 50 sponges for like $10 to $20. So you could either spend you know, $5 on four sponges at Kroger, or you can get 20, use them all over your house, use them in your car, use them all different ways. So if you guys are interested in getting your hands on some magic erasers, I'm gonna hook up some Amazon links below this video that will take you to where I get a uh, bunch of magic erasers for a very, very good price. So if you're interested in that, definitely use my Amazon links below because it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can keep giving out awesome content just like this all the time. Of course, I'll hook up the non-abrasive scrub pads and the Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner as well. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below, because I always read those, and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And of course, if you are new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then definitely consider subscribing, because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that took my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.